students today we'll talk about sex determination now what is sex determination this is a topic from genetics now when we talk about a sex of a person that specific male or female is due to the genetic makeup of that person now from where this genetic makeup has came it has came from his seniors that is the previous generation members that is their father and mother whatever genes we have is from the our father and mother so we have paternal means father and maternal that is mother mother is having a genetic constituent of xx whereas father has a genetic constituent of xy so we know two types of cell division one is mitosis and other is meiosis now when we talk about meiotic cell division it gives rise to haploid number whereas mitotic give rise to same set of chromosomes now these two will form gametes and will give rise to x y and mother will form x and x so there are methods to or uh, there are uh, variations in combining and there are possibly two varieties of genetic makeup first variety if x and x get combined it form x and x if x and x again gets combined it will form x x if y combined with x it forms x and y and here again x and y so out of these four genetic makeup only two phenotypes will form one is male another is female so male and female formation depends upon the genetic makeup of the parents now when we talk about this sex determination pattern we have basically three varieties of patterns first is x x x y system now x x and x y now this is our female and this is a male now this type of system x x in female and x y is male is found in reptiles plants animals and mammals second variety of sex determination is x x and x zero now what is this x zero x x means two x chromosome which determines female whereas male is determined by a single x chromosome if a single x chromosome is present and no other chromosome is present then it is known as a male person and that is represented by x zero and where this means nothing so female has two x chromosome and male has only one x chromosome this type of system is found in grasshopper third variety of system is known as zw and zz zw is the female and zz is the male this type is found in amphibians some fishes bees etc so this is the basic three varieties of genetic makeup upon which we determine the sex now there is another variety that is known as an 
environmental factors. Now, apart from the genetic makeup, environment also plays an important role. Now, when we talk about environment, or environment's effect on the genetic mechanisms or sex determination, there is one organism known as, it's commonly known as slipper limpet. The organism is slipper limpet. Now this slipper limpet has a larva and this larva first attaches to a surface. If suppose this is the larva, it is attached to a surface, this is female. Now it will start attracting the male and the male larva will come and deposit over it. So this is the male larva which has come and deposited over it. So it is the female, now the male. Now after some frequency of time, this will combine to form again a complete set of female. Again this female will attract the male. So in this slipper, slipper limpet, there is an environmental effect that will start with the female and it will carry on to attract the males and once it has the male has got attached to the larva then it reconvert back to the female and consequently it starts adding. So this type of mechanism is known as sequential accumulation. So sequential accumulation is found in environment. Another example of environment effects is found in the development of turtles and alligators. Now once the development has started in turtles, if there is warm environment then in turtles it gives rise to females. Now if it is a cold environment then it forms males. While in alligator it is just opposite. In alligator warm environment will give rise to males whereas cold environment will give rise to females. This is the effect of environment or effect of the environmental temperatures on the development of turtles and alligator. Now we will focus on the development or sex determination which in now we start with sex determination in Drosophila. It is very important topic for CSIR UGC net. Now in Drosophila, it is not dependent on the sex determination is not dependent upon the X and Y. In Drosophila melanogaster, there is 8 chromosomes. And apart from this 8 chromosomes, we have 3 sets of 6 chromosomes and 1 pair of autosomes. Now the male or female, it depends on the ratio of sex chromosomes to autosomes. Now when we talk about X chromosomes with autosomes, this ratio determines the male or female in the drosophila. Let's suppose if this X2A comes to X to A is equal to 0 0.5. If it comes to 0 0.5, then it is male. If it comes to 1.0, then it is 
female. If it, this ratio comes below 0 0.5, if it is below 0 0.5, then it is male but it is sterile, known as metamale. Next is, if it is greater than 1, then it is meta female. If it is in between 0 0.5 to 1, if it is a range of 0 0.5 to 1.0, 0 0.5 to 1, then it is intersex. So this table will help you to solve two and four marks questions on the sex determination of Drosophila. Let's suppose we uh, solve a valid question, some few questions. If the chromosome is X, X, X and Y and autosome is A and A. I've told you it is X upon A. So the ratio will come to 3 to 2. So it will come to 1.5. So it will be a meta female. If it is x, x to a, a, then it is 2 to 2, that is 1, then it will be a female. If it is x to a, a, that is 1 by 2, that is 0.5. It will be a male. So like this you have to solve the questions. Hope you can solve it easily. It is a very easy concept but only you have to remember this table. It is x by a. The ratios are there and the type of progeny what it will be forming. Thank you. Stay tuned.